back to MG Midget, birth of a race car, capturing my journey from uh, car restoration to the 2022 uh, MG Car Club Speed Series. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be refitting the doors. So I have to say, this is one of the jobs that I've been uh, putting off a little bit. I've um, uh, uh, read lots of horror stories about the time it takes to put doors back together, how difficult it is to get in the sequence exactly right. So. Uh, Let's have a go and uh, learn by doing, shall we? Uh, first thing I'm gonna try and do then is get the wing mirrors on and uh, get some of the, the smaller fixings, so the door latch mechanisms, uh, the door handle on the outside, all the kind of outside bits, get those are done. And then uh, after that, I can have a look at the, the quarter light. So uh, let's get the little parts on first. So mirror bracket on door handle and door lock I have to say that door lock is probably one of the hardest jobs I've had in a while and then uh, realized that the way to assemble it was to pre-assemble the clip onto the lock and then push the lock through the hole uh, that makes it easier but then the challenge is pushing it hard enough uh, while at the same time leveraging the, the little fins on the spring clip to get it to pop into place but uh, Security was never a hot thing on these cars anyway, so uh, I'm not over relying on this little lock anyway uh, for this particular car. So uh, following the guidance, the next thing is to get the uh, get the lock on. So let's have a go at that. I've put the lock on the the outside now after doing the uh, the outer handle and the lock assembly, and also assembled the inner lock mechanism here together with the uh, the opening uh, bracket here also assembled the the outer uh, seal here for the window and what that means is I'm now in a position to uh, to fit the inner window winder mechanism so I'm going to fit that loosely first that's the plan uh, and then I can begin the next stage of the assembly So what I've done to get to this stage is I fitted the window regulator, pushed that through this gap here, slid it along, hung the hexagonal hanger on this hole here. Uh, the tip is to put it in in its upright position. Uh, from there the next thing you can do is slide the glass in through the top and let it drop down to the back. And uh, the key tip here, the thing I got wrong is that don't fit these strips here to do that otherwise the base of the, the glass isn't going to go through that gap. Uh, you can then fit the quarter light. So 
Uh, having the flexibility of the glass to move around means you can get the, the front metal post in through its front hole uh, and slide the main uh, glass guide down into the, the door. Uh, and then once you've got all that in place, the next step is to fit the glass top runner to the top of the regulator and there's a slot halfway along here uh, which it has to go into. Uh, so at the same time as you put it in the back track, you put it in the middle. I think you, you can just see the beginning of the hole here. Uh, slide the window along and as you slide the window along uh, you can manipulate the window regulator into position. So once you've got it to, so the window is in you're, in, you're in a great place then because you can start to put in bolts to secure the regulator into place. Uh, make sure you don't forget these two here which secure the bottom runner. I do have to say getting that bolt onto the bottom of the quarter light is an absolute pain in the arse. Uh, it's fiddly but you, you, with a bit of perseverance you will get it done. Uh, and then you can, for the first time, fit the window regulator and make the window go up and down. So uh, it's still loose. You can see the window loose in the track. It's not in any of its tracks yet. So um, now I can uh, move on to the next stage. So that's the inner and outer weather strips fitted uh, from the experience I had, I, I fitted the outer one first and put the clips on using my uh, hacksaw blade tool. And then the inner one, I actually found it easier to pre-assemble the clips underneath and then push them on from underneath these gaps here. Uh, so that's how I managed to get that done. Right, so next is to fit up the uh, strip that goes inside the door here that guides the glass at the back of the door. So uh, I'm going to fit that now. So that's the channel in uh, in order to fit the channel I did have to take the door lock off in the end uh, but once the door lock was off it went in nice and, nice and easy so that's the door completed now uh, I've tightened up all of the bolts the window goes down as it should do and goes up so now we've got a finished door complete that when I close that complements the car so now all I've got to do is repeat that on the other side uh, and then we can move on to the interior trim part of the door.